Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime, and once again, welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see how we can create this flag animation in Blender easily. So I hope you will find this tutorial useful. But before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.83 version. Nice. Now let's delete this default cube. Select this cube and delete it. Now let's create flag pole. For that, go to this add mesh and select cylinder. Now press S on the keyboard, reduce its scaling. Now again press S, now press Z and increase the length of this flag pole. Now right click, select shade smooth. Okay. Now let's create flag now. Go to this add mesh plane. Now press S on the keyboard, increase the scaling. Now again press S and X now and increase the length in X axis. Now let's rotate this. For that, click on this rotate option and rotate it here like this, 90 degree. You can change it here. Okay. Now let's move it here and move it here. Drop. Okay. So make sure that it is not getting in contact with the pole. Move it here. Okay, nice. Now let's add subdivisions onto this plane. Before do that, let's add a loop here. For that, press tab on the keyboard to go to edit mode. Now press Ctrl plus R and add a single loop. Now press mouse left key and hit enter. Now press a on the keyboard to select everything, right click and add subdivisions. So I think these many subdivisions will work. Now press tab on the keyboard again to exit this edit mode. Now let's convert this plane into cloth. For that, select this plane, come to this physics properties and add cloth. So if we play this, we can see this plane is falling down. We don't want that. We want this plane to be attached to this pole. So for that, again go to this edit mode by pressing tab. Select this vertex point. Click on this vertex select here. Now select this both vertices. Again, hold shift key and select this below vertex here. Object data properties here. Come to vertex group. Click on this plus sign. And let me rename this to flag pins and assign. Now click on this physics property, scroll down to shape options, expand this shape options and in pin group you can see just click here and select this flag pins. Nice. Now exit this edit mode by hitting tab and if we play now you can see this is attached to this pole but here you can see this flag is passing through the pole and also we can see this blocks on the plane so now let's deal with that so let me here okay now select this plane right click select this shade smooth still we are finding some blocks here so come to this modifier properties click on this add modifier and select subdivision surface Nice. But we are finding that there are no sharp edges on this plane. So in order to fix that, again go to edit mode by pressing tab. Now hold shift and control. Select this vertices here. Select this last vertices. Come to these options and here you can see mean crease value just increase that. Now press tab to exit this edit mode and you can see we got these fine edges, nice. Now select this plane once again, come to this physics properties, scroll down to this collision options, expand that collision options and enable self collision and select this pole and enable collision for that also. So if we play now, you can see this flag will be colliding with the pole 
and also colliding with itself nice now let's add some wind field so for that shift plus a come to this force field and select wind now let me place wind here press s to increase the scaling let me rotate it let me rotate it in this direction so still we are not finding any difference because we need to set the strength of this field so come to this physics properties and increase the strength value so here i will be increasing this to 350 now let's check this so here you can see this force field is acting here okay it looks good now click on this world properties color options here and select environment texture now click on this open button and select hdri image you can download hdri images from hdri heaven download links in the description so let me select this one let me go to this render view click on this one so we got this here okay now let's add texture to this flag so select this plane come to this shader editor let me use meter okay now click on this material options and select new material here we got principal shader change it to diffuse nice now come to this add options click on that input add texture coordinate now again go to add vector select mapping now again add texture image texture okay now let's connect this uv to vector vector to this vector of image texture and color to color now we can select any image so here i have downloaded few images of blender itself blender logo so let me select them so you can see we got these images on the flag now let's add texture to this pole so select that pole click on this material properties add new material so here i will be changing this to glass and reduce the roughness so that we get chrome material here okay nice now we can go to this timeline now press Ctrl Alt 0 come to this view options and lock camera to view so now we can adjust the camera angle here so I think this would be fine let it be here like this okay now before going to render this animation first we need to bake the animation so for that select this plane physics properties scroll down to cache expand this cache options and here you can see bake all dynamics click on that so it starts baking now if we play we can see our animation is running here okay now let me change the light select this light click here for light properties change it to sun now change the strength to 10 or else let it be 20 so now let's see this so now this is looking better when compared to previous one okay let it be here now let's go to render part click on this render properties here render engine is set to ev this render engine lets us to render everything fast but when compared to cycles engine the quality will not be that much good so you can use cycles if you are using cycles you got an option to select cpu or gpu if your device has gpu you can use gpu to render or else you can leave it to cpu here for faster rendering i will be using ev for better results use cycles enable ambient occlusion and one more thing if you are using cycles render come to this view layer properties click on that scroll down to denoising option 
enable this option so that you won't get much noise when the rendering is done. If you won't enable this option, we might get some noise in the image. Okay. So let me change back to EV. Okay. Bloom, I think this is not much useful for this. So we don't want that. Now come to this dimensions here you can select resolution right now it is in full hd we can see that start frame and end frame frame rate 24 and you can select the output folder so let me change this output folder here so let me select accept so output folder is selected uncheck this overwrite option and in format you can choose either jpeg or png i'll be using png okay once everything is done we can go to render this animation so come to this render and select render animation so it starts rendering this scene so in this way we can create this flag animation in blender easily so i hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel and support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye